Hi, my name is Gwen Peterson. I am a certified health coach and I realize that I have not done a video about why the program works so well if you do the whole program. So um, if you bear with me, I'll just kind of start from the beginning when someone says, tell me more about the program so you can hear how I explain it because that's what I know and that's why I know that it works. So um, the first thing is, is if you were to go talk to a dietitian or a nutritionist, they would all tell you that you should eat six small balanced meals a day. And when I say balance, nutritionist goal is to help you eat 40% protein, 30% carbs, and 30% fats. That's the macros a lot of people talk about. But the reality is it's not that easy to do that out of the grocery store every three hours because the nutritionist is going to try to get you to eat six small balanced meals. And yes, can you do that out of the grocery store? Of course you can. But that would mean you would need to take the small apple, put it on a food scale, then put that many ounces into my fitness pal for it to kick out how many carbs that is, to then know how many grams of protein to pair that apple with so that apple's sugar doesn't spike your blood sugar, right? So again, can you just grab a small apple and throw a couple cheese sticks with it? Sure, of course you can, but getting that science exact is really hard. That's why when you eat perfectly balanced out of the grocery store or the best you can without weighing every single piece of food, using my fitness pal and then knowing your numbers, you're going to average about six pounds a month, eight if you're lucky. But because we know that that is the proper nutritional group blueprint to not only lose weight, but to actually keep it off long term, um, that's what our program is. So let me backtrack just a second. Do keto and Atkins and Weight Watchers and all those programs work? Of course they do. They all work because they're bringing down the caloric intake and it's kind of starting to work with your metabolism. The problem is a lot of those, you can't maintain eating that way the rest of your life. So that's why I tell people, I'm like, I can help you lose weight a hundred different ways, but how are you going to keep off? what you did to lose the weight. Normally you can't do that the rest of your life. That's why a dietitian or a nutritionist isn't giving you some sort of a gimmick. They're just teaching you proper nutrition. But as we mentioned, it's very hard to get the correct balance out of the grocery store. And it's also a lot of work. When I was doing it out of the grocery store prior to starting our program, I, um, I would take about five hours every Saturday to meal prep out of the grocery store. And you know, that's the reality of meal prep, which is fine. Some people love it and do that and it works for them. But what I know is most people that I work with struggle to have enough time to make all that food and struggle to measure out all the food to then lose that six to eight pounds a month. So that's the same nutritional blueprint that our program is, but five of the six items you eat are already made for you, so you only have to make one healthy meal out of the grocery store. Now, I know some people are like, ah, eating out of a package, not interested. Well, the great thing about our program is our food is super clean food. It has no artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, and preservatives, and it has built-in probiotics. So let me tell you, unless you're eating perfectly clean out of the grocery store, you're probably already eating packaged food, whether it's the Oreos you're trying not to eat, the Ben and Jerry's you're trying not to eat, the Doritos. I guarantee you are daily eating more than one or two packaged items a day, unless you're that rare person that's eating all fresh foods out of the grocery store. So again, you're already eating out of a package anyway, you might as well eat out of our clean packages that have all those vitamins and minerals and no artificial junk in them. So the beauty of that though is because you're doing five of ours a day and one out of the grocery store, what happens is because our macros are already measured out for you and they average about 15 grams of protein and about 14 or 15 carbs and then about three to five grams of fat, boom you never spike your blood sugar because you're never eating carbs above the protein. So this is what happens magically in your body when you eat perfectly balanced out of the grocery store or out of our program, is when you do that for longer than five days, 
Now all the unbalanced sugar gets out of your body. So when you sleep at night, all your systems start to reset. Your thyroid glands, your adrenal glands, your metabolism, everything fires back online again because it's not fighting all of these blood sugar spikes and drops throughout the day. So it goes into what I call a rest and reset mode. Now, this is not our program's background. This is if you sat and talked to a dietitian or a nutritionist, they would be validating what I'm talking about of why they teach eating six small balanced meals a day. So the reality though is because our program has the five already done for you and the macros are spot on, what happens is because you're not having to measure that apple to know how many carbs, the numbers are there, women average, and again, I have to say results not typical because there are people that fall off, like what we did a big John Hopkins review and a, one person had their house burned down. So the, the, the average they say, I think is it's about 12 pounds in 12 weeks. What I know is if you do the program the way we teach you, normally, results not typical, a woman loses about 10 pounds a month, 10 to 12, and a man loses about 12 to 15. But again, we can't guarantee those results because not everybody sticks to it for long enough to get the results, right? Because I say our program is very similar to the AA setup. So we know that sugar hits the same pleasure center in the brain as heroin and alcohol. And if you know any type of an addict, you would know that alcoholic can't just remove the alcohol out of their house and become sober, or that heroin addict just stops hanging out with that, those friends and gets it out of the house. But for some reason, we seem to think if we remove the Ben and Jerry's or the Oreos, we're going to magically have a brand new lifestyle because we're doing some new diet. It's not reality because our brains are built on sugar. So think about this, and I'm going to go a little bit long, but I just kind of, oh my gosh, this is something I figured out through one of our Optavia podcasts is, and it, I kind of went through the nutrition a little bit deeper than the podcast. So when you were born and you would cry, what would they do? They would shove a bottle in your mouth. So then from the first breath, you learned food made you feel better. Food is a coping mechanism. When you cry, they put the bottle in your mouth. Whether you were angry, tired, hungry, food became your comfort from the beginning of time. But here's the nutrition behind it is when you were born, you would either get new formula or breast milk. Go look at the nutrition of breast milk and formula. It's like 80% carbs, 85 actually. So again, this is how you have to raise a baby because they're digestive tract. But for the first six months, all your body sees is breast milk or formula, 85% carbs. Then at six months, what do they add? Rice cereal, carbs. Then what do they add? Vegetables, carbs. Then what do they add? Fruit, carbs. Your body did not see protein mashed up in those little bottles until you were nine months old. So your brain develops a ton in the first nine months of your life. So no surprise that those neuropathways lead you to carbs when you're tired, angry, sad, frustrated, because that's how you are, that's the way we were raised. And not that there's anything wrong with that, that's just how your brain grew on carbs. So now as adults, that's what we're trying to rewire. That's why an alcoholic or a heroin addict does not have the ability to do it alone. That's why our model works just like AA works if the person works the program. And people ask me all the time, Gwen, what's your success rate with your clients? And I'm like, well, that's not a fair question. What I teach works. It's whether or not the person works the program. Just like the person that goes to AA, AA works. It's whether or not the person works the whole program. So that's why our program is not all about the nutrition at all. Because I know if I give you our program on a silver platter, it works. It's just the science of blood sugar balance. But the reality is if we don't retrain the brain and those neural pathways that lead you to the Ben and Jerry's on the Friday night when you're exhausted, you've had a bad week at work, we're never gonna be able to help you get healthy, whether it's keto, Atkins, Weight Watchers, whatever, your neural pathways still lead you there. So when you do our program, you come in, you link arms with a sponsor, which is, that's the health coach. You dive into our community, 
We have a huge closed group on Facebook where you can share recipes, tips, struggles, all of that in the group. And then you have to do the mental component. We have a life book and a habits of health book. And then we have all these podcasts. And I tell my clients, the ones that actually have success, treat it just like AA. The minute you walk in the door of AA, they say 90 meetings in 90 days. Because this is not a 21 day habit that we are trying to change. This is a legitimate neuro pathway trigger that we are trying to reverse that's been there since the beginning of time from the day you were born. And that's not gonna happen in a 21 day window. So I tell all my clients, if you want to still be my client in 90 days and actually have a good run on this thing, you will get to retrain your brain every single day working in the life book and listening to one of our podcasts. And I just suggest my people, the minute you get out of bed, flip on our podcast and start listening to this healthy dialogue to help retrain the brain. Because we all know we've like been getting ready in the morning and flip the TV on and we hear um, some commercial and then all day long that song from that commercial loops in your head because it's your brain's way of trying to um, associate that sound that was that was catchy into your brain. Well, wouldn't you rather have all day long this interesting thing that somebody said on a podcast looping through your brain to help retrain the negative dialogue into positive dialogue? You bet. So my clients that are the most successful listen to one of our podcasts every single morning for 90 days, and then they start working in that life book that journals you, why you do what you do with food. So you actually have a fighting chance of stopping those poor decisions you've always made after your you know, willpower starts to die off. That's why our program works. Yes, the food works. Really, any program works. Our food is just makes it easy. It perfectly balances that blood sugar and it's sustainable long-term. But even then, even if you do our food program, you are gonna gain the weight back if you don't do the whole other part of the program, which is this mental construct and retraining that brain. So as you can see, I'm a little passionate about this because I know that this is what works, but I also know it takes a lot of work to really have that new lifestyle change. Because I talk to a lot of people and they're like, yeah, I started this diet. It's a lifestyle change. And I'm like, tell me more about that. And they're like, well, I'm eating X amount of fruits and X amount of protein, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. And I'm like, good job. What about the brain? What do you mean? What about the brain? Well, I'm like journaling my food. I'm like, no, 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 no. How are you figuring out those triggers in your brain and how to rewire them? I don't know. They don't even know what I'm talking about because what they're doing, they've never done. And most people have never had a program that is so focused on that mental component that the mental component is almost bigger than that food. Because the reality is if we don't fix the brain, the food doesn't matter anyway. So I hope that kind of helped put a little bit more into perspective why I'm so passionate, always on my videos about the mental component because you guys, you will not make it through this program or five other things you try if you do not dive into the podcast and the workbooks. And then you've always, always hear me talk about that book, Never Binge Again. It's not about binge eating. It's just another level of how to recognize the subconscious brain and all that dialogue going on in there. And if you do the podcast, the workbooks, and do the Never Binge Again, you'll actually reach your goal weight. It might take a lot of work because some of us have a lot deeper ingrained dialogue around food than others. But trust me, if you say this program didn't work, it's because you didn't work the mental component. And I have not had one client that actually said this didn't work that didn't do the mental component, right? The only people that I have ever reached their goal weight is the ones that are fighting for their, what I would say, sobriety against sugar by doing the mental component. And you can't pick and choose. When people say to me, Gwen, I want you as a coach, but I'm not going to join the community on Facebook, or I'm not going to do the workbooks. I'm like, you get to go find another coach because that's not what I coach. 
And in AA, you would never find a sponsor that says, sure, I'll be your sponsor, but you don't need to go to meetings and you don't need to dive into the community for support and you don't need to work on the mental stuff. No sponsor would take that on. Why would a health coach take that on to be the one and only for that person? I'm not a therapist. I'm a health coach. I guide you through the nutrition and I guide you through the mental construct of what's going to help change your brain. But it takes all four components, the coach, the community, the mental component, the workbooks, all of that is what's go what it's going to take for you to truly make that lifestyle change. And as Dr. A says, it's one healthy habit at a time. And we're taking one day at a time with that mental component and with the food. And if you do that and really take the work on, trust me, you're going to have that healthy lifestyle down the road. So I hope you bared with me with this long explanation, but I know I've never explained it this way. Only my direct clients and coaches have ever heard me talk this way. So just wanted to get a recording of it. And please comment below what stuck out to you and what maybe you've been missing so far in your own health and wellness journey. Have a great day. Bye-bye.